Hey guys, Pridu here. In this video, we're going to talk about the design systems. Now we're going to break down the three most essential elements that you need in order to create a design system from scratch and a scalable solution when it comes to creating any UI, UX or web design project. So the three elements that I want to talk about are typography, colors and components. And let's jump right into the first one. So let's say that I'm working on a client project and I am creating some typography styles. Well, the very first ones are going to be, for example, the heading one, heading two, all the way to the heading three, to the heading six. And as you can see, we already have some default styling. So I'm just going to undo all of this. And I'm basically just going to focus on having a regular heading. And uh, we're going to create uh, just a few duplicates of this uh, just so that you can uh, uh, see where I'm going. And uh, basically the very first thing that uh, you want to consider is that uh, under the uh, layers panel there's the text and you can see that on the, the right uh, you have these four dots uh, which are the textiles. Now textiles are going to enable you to sync uh, the uh, typography into the design system. So say that I'm creating uh, a new uh, textile for the heading one. I can simply go here, create new textile, and I'm going to have this textile now in my design system. So the moment that I reduce, uh, for example, the size of these other ones, I'm actually just going to keep it really simple. So let's just get rid of uh, the other two. And uh, I'm just going to make these uh, a little bit smaller so that you can get the idea. And uh, basically, if I go over here and uh, I create uh, a new textile, this one's going to be heading two, and this one is going to be heading three. You can see that now we have the ability to choose between uh, the different uh, textiles. So say that I'm uh, having uh, a screen that I'm working on for this specific uh, um, project. I'm going to go over here and I can add a, uh, some text over here, such as uh, this is the headline. And uh, I'm going to basically be able to choose uh, the different uh, textiles that I have over here. So in this case, I have a uh, uh, textile one, which is the headline, which is the heading. And uh, the cool thing about textiles is that uh, even if uh, I have, uh, say, all sorts of different screens uh, in my design project, I can change uh, the original textile and all of these uh, settings and the edits are going to be reflected throughout the entire project. So if I go over here, for example, and I change the font to our adored Comic Sans and I make this uh, regular, you can see that live uh, you can uh, see how this is updated throughout uh, the entire project in uh, just a matter of seconds. You can also make it bigger and uh, change pretty much uh, all of the settings uh, which uh, I would need uh, in order for me to have uh, a textile which uh, is in line with uh, the current solution which I'm looking for. So this is a nutshell how textiles work and uh, now we're going to talk about colors. Now colors are really easy to set uh, so similarly to textiles uh, I can uh, decide for example to have a bunch of colors Let's say that this uh, one is going to be blue, which is the primary color. And then I'm going to have uh, a secondary color, which uh, might be this one right here. And then I have a tertiary color, which is this one. Well, the moment that uh, I have uh, these colors, you can see that uh, if I click on the four dots again, which is the styles, I can, uh, well, first of all, I can see some other color styles which I, or color libraries which I um, synced uh, previously.